Good morning, this is a summary of uh, cytomegalovirus infection in pregnancy. Um, this is a talk article summary to help with your MRCOG part 2 revision. I hope you'll find this video useful and if you do then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So cytomegalovirus is a DNA herpes virus. It's uh, responsible and most common congenital viral infection. The prevalence at birth is 0.5%. In the UK, uh, 40 to 60% of pregnant population is seropositive. It's most prevalent in developing countries and lower um, economic status. So fetal and neonatal complications include, so it's a leading non-genetic cause of sensory neural deafness in children and commonly causes a cognitive disability. 12% of sense and sensory neural hearing loss and 8% of cerebral palsy in the UK. Um, primary maternal infection in first or early second trimester presents highest risk of neurological sequelae following mother to child transmission that varies between 14.2 to 52.4 percent. No severe case of congenital infection for maternal infection after 14 weeks of gestation. So pre-existing CMV seropositivity substantially decreases but does not completely eliminate fetal infection after reactivation or reinfection with a new strain. However, it's associated with less significant fetal disease um, suggesting partial protection via maternal immunity. Secondary infection, defined as intermittent excretion of the virus in presence of host immunity due to reactivation of an endogenous virus or exposure to a new virus strain. CMV transmission rates due to non-primary infections are reported between 1 and 2.2%. Congenital CMV infections, 75 to 90% are asymptomatic at birth, 10 to 25 percent will um, develop neurological sequelae such as sensory neural hearing loss, delayed uh, psychomotor development, and visual impairment. Maternal primary CMV: 5 to 20 percent of infants are overtly symptomatic with um, IUGR, so intrauterine growth restriction, microcephaly, hepatosplenomegaly, uh, petechiae, um, uh, jaundice, uh, chorioretinitis thrombocytopenia or anemia. 30% will die, mostly because of DIC, hepatic dysfunction or bacterial infection. So um, this is an algorithm for prenatal diagnosis of congenital cytomegalovirus. So serological diagnosis of primary maternal infection, so seroconversion or IgG plus IgM plus low avidity, um, assessment of fetal infection, uh, by amniocentesis seven weeks after presumed maternal infection and after 21 weeks of gestation ultrasound uh, for signs of CMV infection so positive and counseling regarding risk of symptomatic disease negative no fetal infection counseling that risk of infection is low transmission is via transplacental trans uh, transmission so transmitted to fetus to fetus virus is um, replicated in multiple tissues including renal tubular uh, epithelium transmission from infected individuals to others through direct contact with bodily fluids, saliva, urine, or semen of someone who's actively shedding the virus. For women of um, for women of reproductive age, the greater risk for exposure is through contact with the urine or saliva of young children. Transmission through ingestion or uh, aspiration of cervical vaginal uh, secretions at delivery or ingestion of breast milk uh, post delivery. Ascending infection from the maternal genital tract is thought to be rare but possible uh, antibiotic. Rate of fetal uh, transmission increases with advancing gestation. Sequelae in offspring less severe the later in gestation that transmission occurs. Term infants who acquire CMV infection from breast milk do not develop clinical sequelae from the infection. Transmission rates uh, were significantly related to gestation age at the time of maternal infection. So 34.8% in the first trimester, 42% second trimester, 58.6% in the third trimester. None of the fetuses infected through the third trimester uh, maternal infection had any symptoms of disease 
had median follow-up at 18 months or third trimester primary infection is associated with high fetal transmission rate the diagnosis of maternal infection so primary uh, cytomegalovirus uh, is based on symptoms and signs although uh, it's difficult and unreliable as infections are asymptomatic in 90 percent of individuals and signs like rhinitis and pharyngitis and um, myalgia and arthralgia and fatigue and headache all these uh, symptoms and signs are non-specific pregnancy does not affect clinical severity reinfection with different strain of cmv or reactivation of virus uh, in women with pre-existing antibody generally does not cause maternal and clinical illness gold standard uh, is um, uh, serology uh, for diagnosis um, testing only identifies 10 percent of symptomatic patients uh, diagnosis in asymptomatic women um, all, uh, often follows investigation for fetal squillae um, of suspected intrauterine infection. Seroconversion of CMV specific immunoglobulins, G in uh, paired acute and um, convalescent um, sera is a diagnostic of new acute infection. This approach is only possible when maternal serum specimen uh, are saved as a routine practice in the UK or in the context of screening program where women who are seronegative are identified and followed prospectively. Where the pregnancy immune state is an unknown, suspicion of primary CNV um, infection may be based uh, on detection of specific immunoglobulin M antibody. So for serological screening of IgM antibody, uh, if it remains positive for over a year after an acute infection and can revert from negative to positive with CMV reactivation or reinfection with a different stain. False uh, positive can occur as a result of cross-reactivity with other diseases such as bio virus B19, Epstein virus and SLE. In the absence of documented recent uh, seroconversion, it's difficult or impossible to distinguish between primary and non-primary infection as both can be associated with a fourfold rise in IgG titers and presence of Ig um, and presence of IgM antibodies. In general, the majority of positive IgM results uh, may have some false positive results. In addition, serology is not useful for distinguishing primary infection versus reactivation from latency. Um, sequencing may not uh, do uh, so either because um, when latent, the virus does not undergo much, uh, if any, replication. So the viral um, sequences will be very similar. So IgG avidity tests can detect uh, acute infections with 92 to 100% sensitivity and H2 to 100% specificity combined with true positive IgM, a low moderate avidity test ac accurate diagnosis uh, as zero conversion, although timing is less precise than zero conversion. Um, antibody avidity testing indicates the strength with, a, with which a multivalent antibody binds to a multivalent antigen. During the first week following primary infection, IgG antibodies show a low avidity for antigen, but they progressively and slowly mature to moderate and then high avidity about 12 to 16 weeks after an acute infection. Maturation of immune response and high avidity antibodies after years. Avidity uh, levels are reported as uh, avidity index, which expresses the percentage of IgG bound to the antigen following treatment with denaturing um, agents. The avidity index uh, distinguishes between recent and past CME infections, and the avidity index of greater than 60 to 65 percent is highly suggestive of past or secondary infection, but an avidity index of less than 30 percent is highly suggestive of recent primary infection duration less than three months. Serological diagnosis of primary CME infection during pregnancy is therefore documented by either seroconversion or detection of specific IgM antibody associated with low avidity. A low avidity test prior to the 18th week of pregnancy can identify women uh, at highest risk of severe congenital infection, whereas a high avidity index during the first 12 to 16 weeks of pregnancy could be considered a good indicator of past infection. 
So diagnosis of fetal infection, serological testing is key uh, and determines risk of fetal infection. Ultrasound non, uh, is non-invasive and can uh, pick up structure or growth abnormalities, identify 20% of infected infants. Ultrasound markers like periventricular uh, calcifications, cerebral ventric ventricular megaly, microcephaly, echogenic fetal bowel, hepatosplenomegaly, megaly, uh, poly uh, microgyria, uh, cerebral um, cerebellar uh, hyperplasia, periventricular cyst, periventricular echogenicity, mega cisterna magna, fetal growth restriction, amniotic fluid abnormalities, ascites, and or pleural effusion, high drops, and placental enlargement. CMV isolation in amniotic fluid is useful for prenatal diagnosis of congenital CMV. Risk of iatrogenic CMV transmission to fetus during amniocentesis performed in the presence of maternal CMV infection is not significant. Amniocentesis performed at least seven weeks after the presumed time of maternal infection and after 21 weeks of gestation. This interval allows for maturation of the fetal dentourinary system and excretion of the replicating virus in urine into the amniotic fluid. Additional uh, MRI is ultrasound for diagnosis of fetal brain abnormalities in fetuses with CMV. Uh, typical sonographic findings of fetal CMV infection is bilateral periventricular um, calcification. Severity of, uh, severity of detected abnormalities may be useful in determining the prognosis. Ultrasound abnormalities less than 25% of fetuses uh, infected in first half of pregnancy. CMV infection uh, in HIV positive women is likely to present with clinical symptoms as well as uh, myocarditis, hepatitis, pneumonitis, rhinitis, retinitis, sorry, retinitis, retinitis um, gastroenteritis, and or meningocephalitis. Maternal HIV infection is not thought to increase the prevalence of congenital CMV. So prenatal treatment, no proven effective uh, therapy for your congenital CMV um, has been found. Parents are faced with difficult choice uh, of termination once fetal infection is confirmed. Oral uh, valsus cyclovir, 8 grams a day for at least 5 weeks, um, has shown to reduce viral load without significant side effects to fetus or pregnant women. 20% uh, decrease in birth of asymptomatic um, immunates, um, but this is still in trials. Hyperimmunoglobul uh, immunoglobulin uh, therapy of pregnant women with primary CMV infection early pregnancy is promising but investigational approach to reducing symptomatic infection in offspring. Immunoglobulins reduce uh, placental inflammation neutralizing virus with high avidity antibodies and by reducing cytokine mediator cellular um, effects. No uh, currently acceptable treatment for CMV infection in pregnancy Fetus is monitored by serial three to by serial uh, three to four weekly ultrasound for growth, head circumference in specific, fetal MRI to assess brain for any obvious lesions. Their um, presence will help in counselling, as such as uh, babies tend to have a poor prognosis with regard to developmental squalor of CMV. Following delivery, um, thorough neonatal assessment and the developmental milestones are monitored, including hearing. Um, CMV is transmitted to susceptible women through contact with, body, with bodily fluids. Therefore, patient education emphasizing the mode of transmission and hygiene practices may prevent viral acquisition um, would appear plausible as means to reducing maternal infection. So delivery and breastfeeding, vertical transmission increases with gestation age, contact with um, cervical vaginal secretions at birth um, increases a risk. Primary CMV infection in third trimester at the time of delivery is therefore not a contraindication to planned delivery. As there have been no reported sequelae in term infants who acquire the virus through breastfeeding, it's the author's view that this should not be contraindicated, although where there is underlying immunodeficiency in the newborn, uh, breastfeeding may not be advisable. Screening, so UK um, National Screening Committee and the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists and Centers for Disease Control um, don't suggest routine maternal screening for CMV. The UK um, NCS, um, NSC sorry, states that no interventions have been shown to be effective in preventing maternal infections or, screw or reducing the risk of transmission to fetus. However, the CDC recommends um, patient education regarding hygiene practices Serological testing for S for CMV with symptoms during pregnancy or following 
identification of ultrasound features suggestive of CMV that could not be explained by another cause. Testing is vital as maternal symptoms and ultrasound features may not be secondary to CMV. That's it. Uh, I hope you found this uh, summary useful. And if you have, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, so you can benefit from all the content that I regularly share on here. Good luck revising.